Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at Atom, Piano Roll, and more specifically, non-destructive quantization, and kind of explain what that is, what's going on with it, and how you can use it. And so let's dive into the iPad. So we got the iPad here, and this is the new AUM version that just, it is launched today as of the 23rd of April. Um, so if you're watching this afterwards, you know everybody's already used to it. And if you haven't updated yet, I highly recommend it because it's awesome. Because you get these little uh, MIDI channels. Not this is, video is not about that, so I'm going to go to Audio Unit MIDI Processor here and bring up Atom Piano Roll. Now, let's bring up some drums here because drums are always fun power drums. Now I need that to listen to this. Maybe, oh yeah, and I'm now lead this guy to listen to that. All right, so let's turn this up a little bit. And let's just record a sequence. That way we can get something into the iPad and go for it. So let's turn the metronome on, hit loop record. So obviously I was way off on all of that and you know that's okay but man I had the snap on so it automatically quantized no actually it did automatically quantize the notes but in a very non-destructive fashion so that way you can always revert back to the original recorded so the snap does quantize it just doesn't do it destructively and as I highlighted the notes you can see where the original notes would be. And so even with snap on, it records your notes, how exactly how you played it on the exact timing. Now it will automatically apply a hundred percent quantization based on the grid that you have selected, but it's non-destructive. So you can don't, you know, don't freak out if you record and you have snap on because it is non-destructive. As you can see here, I brought this up, brought this little, wrench icon I have everything selected wrench icon quantize and you can see that we have note start at 100% now note start at 100% is 100% quantized as I move things down to 0% now this is actually how I recorded it so let's listen so you know time is off a little bit you know I can probably get rid of that last kick drum maybe but then if I go back and I start I select everything and I start messing with the quantize you know, maybe I don't like how that is on using the grid so let's do like eighth notes so that's pretty good okay I kind of like that, but say I want the hi-hats off just a little bit so I can click and hold and it'll select all the hi-hats. And now I'm quantizing just the notes that I have selected. And so maybe let's change the note length a little bit. You know, and so I'm still able to move things around and add a little groove into the um, into the drum beat without necessarily having to quantize everything. And if I do have everything quantized, I can go back and select a certain set of notes, like the hi hats, and I can kind of push them back just a little bit. That way, they're a little, you know, a little more humanized and a lot less robotic. And so. You know, then you can obviously go in there and, um, you know, manually move notes around and things like that. But, but we're talking about non-destructive. All right, so when you quantize something, it moves it to the nearest beat based on what grid you have selected. And if you're not, not familiar, this right here would be a representation of one bar in 4-4 four, four timing. You've got four quarter notes right here that you can mess with. You know, each of those would be divided up like that. And if you, if you were inputting some 
kick drums and you wanted a four on the floor, you could set it to quarter notes and each time you hit it, regardless if you were just off just a little bit here or there, it's going to automatically marry the start position up to that quarter note. And that's what quantizing is. It's it adjusts the timing to the grid. And so if you had eighth note selected, which is what half of a quarter note is, then it would adjust that accordingly. So if you're doing hi hats and you wanted eight note eighth note hi hats, you could set the quantization to eighth notes and every time you hit a hi hat, it would go to the nearest one. Well the beauty of Atom is that it does not automatically bake that in. It saves the information to where you actually hit the note and then it uh, quantizes it and it applies the quantization to that but you can always go back to the original and that is one of the beauties of this non-destructive quantization that it has. Now we have some other options here. We got more than just note start because the note start is going to be the start of the note and that's going to be the main thing that you want quantized. and that's going to be if you have it snapping to the grid then it's going to go ahead and put the notes to a hundred percent and so with it at a hundred percent that's going to be you know what it is completely quantized and you can move things off the grid a little bit based on what you want now the note length as you can see here some that's a pretty pretty bad example but this one down here at the bottom the C2 you can see it kind of shrinking as others are kind of snapping and growing and what that's doing it's going to move it to the nearest the note length is going to move it move everything to a specific note length that you have selected right here I have 32 and you can see some are growing faster and then slower it's all based on a percentage all right so now note end is going to be similar to the note start only the end of the note and so you can grow your notes and some will grow a lot more than others based on the grid and based on how close it is to the actual next point that you have like if you have 16th notes it's going to grow it to that eighth note it's going to grow it to the nearest eighth note as you can see things like that and so So how does it become destructive if, you know, they're pushing non-destructive, how do you make it destructive? Well, if you hit this quantize button, it's going to lock it in to destructive, and that's going to be what it is, and it's going to take away all these little gray spots, and you're not going to be able to go back unless you hit the undo button. And so let's go ahead and quantize that. And so now it is quantized on the settings that we had. We can go ahead and get rid of this last little, oops, undo rid of that last little kick there just to clean it up a little bit okay so what what else could you do now that you have this quantized well I can go back and select those hi-hats and watch this and this is where you can kind of uh, move these note links down a little bit and it starts So you got to select something kind of bigger, but and so now I've kind of used that quantize setting and now I've kind of moved the hi-hats off a little bit to give it a little more groove by selecting a bigger grid than I used to quantize it. So I quantize the, those on eighth notes. So I select the ha quarter or half or bar and then you can start adjusting the notes and you can get you know a little more a uh, little you know different feel for the hi-hats depending on how much you want to quantize them and kind of set them all feet. And this is where I would want maybe like a, being able to go into the negative values is since they're all on the grid on this one at 0% and then start moving them, 
you know, that's cool to be able to move them to that, but what if I wanted to move them the other way? And so to the developer of Atom, the suggestion would be if we could move this in a negative percentage or any of these in negative percentages to do the reverse of what it's doing when you're going in upper percentages. And that just might be kind of cool to add a little extra flavor to some things. kind of like that so I want to bake that in and now I can if I wanted to I can select them again and go back to the quantize option and I can go to 32nd and do note length if I wanted to shorten them up a little bit quantize that go back in if I wanted to further start messing with the how they're laid out, you know, so just you know, messing with those quantization options, you know, you can start you know adding a little extra fills to some of the things and kind of moving, adjusting things a little bit back and forth. And that should be about it. And so, yeah, when you want when you want to bake it in, you kind of bake it into. You just go in there and you hit that quantize button, and it's going to actually quantize whatever you have selected. So, if you didn't want to quantize everything, if you wanted to kind of keep your hi hats unquantized, then you could just select the rest of the stuff underneath, kick and snare, and you can quantize that. Leave your hi hats unquantized, so that way you could go back and do some variations. Um, so yeah, I pretty much feel like I covered everything that's, you know, dealing with this quantization and non-destructive and destructive. Just remember that if snap is on, it's going to automatically put it at a hundred percent use grid, a hundred percent on the note start. And that means it's a hundred percent quantizing to the grid, the notes, but you're not married to that it's not destructive it's non-destructive and so you can always go back and adjust the quantization on that which is a really awesome feature so that being said thanks guys for watching i hope this was helpful and useful uh, leave a comment below if you're loving this uh, piano roll app and maybe even if you've downloaded and updated for the new aum and played around with that that is uh, a really cool feature and I'm glad that we can actually show that I was not on the beta team, but I was, my jaws were, you know, chomping. I was chomping at the bits for this update, just like everybody else was. And so all the people that was on the video, on the beta, and they were posting videos of this new session. Ha, we have it now. And uh, all links are in the description that are applicable to this video, Patreon and PayPal as well. If you want to continue to support this channel, leave it a like. A thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell icon and uh, I will talk to you in the next one.